Hello friends, welcome back. Um, I'm Helen Hagen, my friend Renee Capibano will be joining us later. And this is another one of our videos, our toddler videos, that this particular idea is things that can happen in the high chair with your child that are still these rich bonding experiences, things away from screen time, things that will definitely help your child's uh, brain skills develop thinking skills develop, you know, not just skill-based learning, but this idea of how does the world work, you know, what is happening around me. Um, they're fun, they're easy to set up, and I hope that you'll really enjoy them. And if you like our videos, we'd love it if you would consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing. Uh, it just really is encouraging to us to see that people are enjoying what we're uh, trying to explain. And so here we go. These are things that work with all nine of my children that I think will bring you joy as well as, you know, really great results. Here we go. All right, so what we're going to start with is jello excavation. And you can see here that this is a giant uh, sort of a measuring cup that has been filled up with jello. And he has made this, so he does understand the idea that it started with powder, we added, you know, water, and we, st we went ahead and stirred it, gave it lots of stirring and then it had to go in the refrigerator and you know of course you can't use boiling water you know to let your child do it so you'll have to use uh, extra warm but by having it really thick like this it takes a while to dig it out it's pretty interesting if they eat a little you know it's great um, but you can see that it, it just keeps going this is something I've done many 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 times for many many children you can have it sort of be a tea party you can use it with cars you can use it to measure things out but by using a clear container it's also exploring the idea of volume, right? So it's, uh, it's very uh, enjoyable on a lot of different levels, but it really gets that idea that a powder, a liquid can become a solid. And the idea that you can see through a solid is, is very intriguing. Uh, by adding blueberries another time, so this is, this is another time I did it, I'm kind of you know, helping him remember all those experiments that we did about dissolving, right? Like some things don't dissolve, many things do dissolve, but larger objects in you know, liquid can. And you know, this is some basic chemistry idea, but this is also really helping him think about how the world is going to work. You can see this is also just fun because by putting those blueberries in there with his trucks, it seems a lot more like boulders that are going from one thing to the other. So this is also just a really fun thing to do if your child is feeling a little bored with uh, things on a particular day to get it out and, and just get it moving. Okay, one thing you can see here is we're also putting in the breadsticks because as part of transformation, I'm putting different things in the jello when we do them. And of course, the jello will transform those things too. It's probably obvious to you that if you leave a breadstick in that jello for a little while, it becomes very mushy. So first he can try eating it. And normally that might be pretty hard for him, but he's gonna be able to tell it gets mushy, it gets mushier and mushier. So again, another idea about how things transform. Um, Bubbles are something that, of course, your child has done a million times by then, but it's pretty hard for kids to do bubbles when they're just blowing it with a traditional bubble wand. But you can see here that by giving him a whisk and a little container, he can use the whisk to generate his own bubbles. He can also then pop the bubbles and remake the bubbles. And so this is very much about a transformational thing, but it's something he can do himself. You know, I can step away and, you know, be cutting up salad for dinner and he can keep doing this. There's a lot in this that keeps going. As you'll see in these continuing videos, um, I like to make it this particular activity get more and more difficult. So I'll put in more bubbles, I'll put in less bubbles, I'll change the container. And you can see from here, he's really developing his own technique where he doesn't even want to use the whisk anymore because he's got this idea of flicking his fingers in different ways that you know, he's got a very, <laughs> for one, he's really got a technique down here on how he's going to get the most bubbles to go quickest. And um, you know, sometimes he can just really get a lot of bubbles going there. So this is very fun for your child, but also it's different than when you just blow a bubble into the air, right? Those bubbles keep hanging around, you can keep regenerating them, and you can be looking at them in the way that it, I think it becomes even more clear to your child that something else is in there, right? Something is holding that space in that transformation. So, um, you know, when you think of transformation, I think another thing that people are really tempted to do with toddlers is vinegar and baking powder. And if you have a, child, a toddler who will wear, you know, a face shield or, you know, like serious goggles, you know, maybe that would work out. But of course, this could be dangerous. You could get that vinegar in your eye. So a, a thing that's a little more toddler friendly is to use that 
baking powder, uh, spread it out, and add lemon juice. And by adding lemon juice, you still get that very exciting fizz, you get the transformation idea, but it's, it's in a um, much, uh, you know, a situation where it would be very hard for anything terrible to happen to them, right? So um, this, is, this is a different idea. You know, they can squeeze it in themselves. They can pour it in themselves when they get a little more uh, careful with it. Um, so another thing, I love these M Design made in the USA clear containers. I keep using them. You can get them at Target. You can get them online. But um, of course, I always love it that they're made in the USA. But having that clear look to all of these um, experiments, I think makes it a lot easier for your child to sort of get the full picture of what's going on. You can see here that lemon juice, of course, works, but so does lime juice. Lime juice will also produce that reaction of bubbling. And again, since it's, it's a small bubble, you don't have to worry about it, um, you know, shooting up and getting in your child's eye, like, um, you know, vinegar and um, baking powder could, you know, have a big unexpected squirt. But the other thing is that you might want to try letting your child squirt it out of the actual little lime juice bottle. Uh, you could also try just pouring it in, but it's a, you know, a new kind of experience for them to see this bubbling happens. Kind of a wonderful thing about using this lime juice baking soda or, or lemon juice baking powder, I mean baking powder, um, combination is that the transformation keeps on happening. So if you put it aside and you let it dry out, the bubbling uh, mixture, um, you can see here at the bottom that it forms this hard sort of crusty bubble thing that's very interesting to again see this transformation. It started as powder and lemon juice and then foamed and bubbled. And now it's become a different kind of um, solid together. And um, it's also very fun to just carve out of. Uh, he, he's enjoyed doing this many times, this sort of carving and scraping out of that hard foam. And again, it's just a different kind of transformation again. So Another thing to do is just call, I just call this coloring cracker. So you get these pens they are, you know, they're everywhere there to, you know, they're really supposed to be to write on cakes. And so uh, they have that dye in them. And by making it, so you can make almost like a tie dye cracker and white saltines work the best, uh, is, is a great way to start thinking about how something can be transformed by color. Of course, you can do this in water. I've done this in, uh, I've talked about this in other videos that I have, but there's something about doing it with the cracker that you then eat the food that's a solid that seems to be, you know, something that really adds to the idea of what can happen to color, you know, how can color work. Um, another thing that you might want to do at some time is help your child realize just how things can transform from one thing to the other. So this is a fun thing. You can see he's got an apple um, and the apple is all full of forks. Of, you know, I've stuck all the forks in and then he gets to stuck, you know, pull them out. This is very interesting, obviously. But um, you want to make sure that it's not too hard of an apple because you wouldn't want it to be too hard or for uh, them to, you know, lose control of it. By making it, then it's fairly easy for them to move it in and out. Um, this is a great way to just see how they themselves can transform that apple, that apple that once was, you know, a solid can turn out to be just all full of those marks. Okay. So then the next step of this is, you know, I'm going to cut this up and um, tell him, you know, you, okay, you did the first step, you know, you got helped get it smashed up, but then I'm cutting it up in pieces. I'm cooking it. And you know how you make applesauce, right? You just keep adding water and water and water. And of course it's like a lot more water than you think to boil those apples down. Um, if you want to, you can add a little sugar or cinnamon. But what I'm doing here is, obviously I don't really want to show him the hot pot, right? You want to have to be kind of careful about taking a spoon out and each step of the way showing this transformation from the hard apple into the apple becoming something kind of going back, something kind of like a liquid. And But what you can do at the end when you've finished is have sort of, you know, you can see there's this blue bowl here where I've got each step of the way for him, showing him you know, how it's slowly transforming. And then I'm giving him the bowl of the applesauce to eat. By the way, he then also did the step of smashing the apple. So there's a, uh, you know, once it's coming out of the, st the off the stove top, I put it in a plastic bag. And, you know, sometimes he likes to smash it with a hammer. This particular day, he was going for the sort of smoother, smushy move. But when it's, uh, 
got an illiquid enough steak that you want it, you know, then you put it in the bowl and eat it. And as you can see, he loves this applesauce he's made himself. He'll just, he, every time he eats the whole bowl, if he's made it, he just thinks it's great. Um, so another piece that you could do for uh, these uh, transformations is Tonka Truck Road. And so what I'm doing here is, I'm, you can just do flour first and let your child do little trucks moving around and like, you know, like the flour is the dirt, right? That's very fun too. But then the next step is if you add enough warm water to it in the right proportions, it's sort of like you're starting to make bread, but before you put the yeast in, what you can end up with is this sticky substance that's very fun to drive your cars over, uh, to make some tracks in, to just poke your fingers on it. It's, it's great for that. But it's really clear to them because they could be adding the water themselves that the flour mixed with the water is still going to be a solid, but it's going to transform itself into this dry, flaky stuff, into this kind of sticky stuff. Another thing you can do with some flour and some salt and a little bit of water is make a texture that's a lot like bulldozers. So you're transforming this again. Again, they can play in it, but they're also able to be thinking about how these things are transforming, how they're changing from what they were into the next thing. The flour continues to transform. Each time more water is added, the way that he can interact with sort of his creation changes and he can see that this transformation changes according to how much water we've added to it. If you watched my other video, you can sort of imagine it's a little bit the opposite thing of with the salt where you add more and more water so that it can um, finally become clear and become diluted in the, you know, the uh, idea of uh, you know, dissolving as a part of change. This is sort of the, op this, is, this is, you know, kind of fits in with that. So that the more water we add, the more things transform. So here's a star fruit, right? And what I'm doing here is I'm going to let him look at it. I give him lots of time to smell it. And uh, you know, he's, he's can, he can think about it while he's looking at the sides too, because I'm pointing out to him like, like there's these side pieces that come apart. And next I'm going to cut it up. And our, uh, obviously he's going to see that in this case, something can transform its shape or how it appears to be its shape by the way it's cut up. So, you know, it's delicious. You can, you can enjoy the experience of having a kind of fruit he might not have very often. But I'm also showing him that this is a different way that things can transform. The last thing I'm going to do for uh, transformations probably seems like I should do the water cycle. I mean, that's just an obvious thing, but since I've done that in other videos, I'm not going to. But instead, what I'm going to talk about is something that your child might know what it is. So this particular little sweetie, he has had many times, or maybe not many times, but often, a dessert where he's had the chocolate pudding, it's the whipped cream, it's got some little sprinkles on it, and some dried fruit in it. That's how we like to make it. And so he's used to how that would happen. But instead, I'm sort of deconstructing it, and I'm putting it in one of these containers that I like to use that's for makeup. And each piece is in there. I'm giving him a spoon, I'm giving him lots of things, and it's very clear to him that this has been deconstructed. And now he's going to put pieces of it back together again. And also he's got uh, some graham cracker pieces in there. And so he on his own can start thinking about how these pieces normally go together. Now they've been transformed into the separate pieces and how he's gonna pull it back together. And he loved this. Oh my goodness, this lasted forever. I waited to do this till I wanted to have like this long family dinner with uh, my older adult children. And he did this for 45 minutes. I mean, this was a big hit. Um, um, particularly if you get a makeup container that has the small sections that would be used for lipstick, there's a lot of thinking in how to get the food out of those. Uh, you know, a spoon won't fit in there, so you know they might figure out, okay, I've got to sort of pull it up with my finger. Um, you can do the same. You know, the same thing if you had like a long bread stick with uh, cheese and hummus or bread and melted butter, whatever the thing is that you want to have a small amount of, but you think they'd most likely like, putting it in those small containers makes it even more interesting for them to push it in and pull it out. Renee, what do you think? Helen, these are fantastic ideas. 
Um, how much fun is all of this? You know, your child, your toddler watching these different substances and materials transform from one thing to another, change their shape, uh, maybe even change their purpose. Um, I, I love the example with the apple. Kids love to be involved and you're really showing them all these different stages of turning that round solid apple into this bowl of applesauce and they're participating they're getting the the feel for it in their hands of it being a solid and then it's going and turning into this sauce um and i'm not surprised that he eats the bowl every time when he makes it himself because how much fun is that and what a sense of accomplishment and you're again connecting those little parts of his brain where he's putting all of this together and as he grows he's going to launch off into into bigger projects and he's going to understand he's going to understand all of these little pieces um and, and so much fun i love the tonka truck road um uh, great ideas i hope that you can incorporate these and use these with your toddlers at home thanks for watching friends we went through a variety of activities that are all about transformations and even though these are maybe you just want to do these because they're fun uh, maybe you just want to do these because you want to have a boredom break boredom buster maybe you want to do these because you want to take the time to uh, you know cut up that salad or uh, get a dessert in the oven but there's a bigger thing happening here. These are all building and building and building and building on helping our child put together pieces of science, right? That transformations take place. That there's a reason that he should expect this to happen in his life. And especially where our children, that are toddlers that are going out in, in the world where most of them will end up doing careers that don't even exist today. Uh, we're moving farther and farther away from, you know, what work used to be into what work could be in the future. And what better way to assure your child's future is, you know, not to maybe, maybe focus a little less on skill-based learning and a little more on these ideas of building things together, thinking about how things connect, and thinking about how to think of possibilities of new ways to look at things. I hope you'll have fun with these. I hope that doing these activities will bring you um, joy and help you bond closer and closer to your child during this precious, precious time when their brains are growing and growing and developing and developing, and the pathways that you're helping them make can really change who they're going to be later in life. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you if you did, we'd love it if you gave us a thumbs up and subscribed. It's always so encouraging to see that. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.